Right guys, hello, another video for you on Medal of Honor Above and Beyond. What I want to do in this one is help you get more performance if your machine is below recommended spec and you've chosen to buy the game. It's my opinion, it's overpriced for what it is. It definitely needs patches for optimization and to add more things into the options menu. But if you're watching the video, you're obviously interested. I'll break it down with timestamps as I always do to help you find what you want to see. So we'll go into options. Please bear with me quickly while I explain why I'm doing the video. So I've already done a couple of videos. People have commented said, all oh, the gameplay looks a bit choppy. Another guy commented, he said, I've downloaded your video. I've crunched the numbers. Your frames per second are really low. Basically what he's saying is it shouldn't be playable and I should feel very, very sick. Uh, he said, people online are using my videos to prove that this game uh, can be played well on lower end machines. And he just didn't see how the numbers added up. And it's a perfectly valid question. So I had to explain to him, I've got an i7-2600K, that's 10 years old, but it's overclocked. I've got a 980 Ti graphics card, it's also overclocked, so that's five years old or more. Good stuff back in the day, by today's standards, it's pretty average. For me to play the game is one thing, for me to play and record at the same time on that machine is quite another. It negatively affects performance. I never put the videos up for people to gauge the performance. It was to prove that I had the game and I needed to quickly share my thoughts and opinions uh, because I didn't want people to buy it and be disappointed after the, the large download. And quite a few people have said, yeah, I'm going to wait. So that's why I did it. Uh, I've got a good friend of mine. He has a YouTube channel all about VR. He messaged me a little while ago and he's got the i9. He's got 2070. And he said, oh, no, but I'm quite happy playing it privately. But when we do the live streams, I, I, I need to upgrade because it's it's not good enough. What are these 3080s, what the 3070 is about? So he's got a much better machine than me. And when he's playing all sorts of games, doing other stuff negatively affects his recording. So just keep that in mind. OK, so those of us that have a more modest machine, we accept that we're probably not going to get 80 frames per second all of the time, but we should get a playable experience. And we accept we're probably going to turn down some settings in the graphics options. So a game like Asgard's Wrath, uh, that's been patched over time and added in more and more options for us to tinker with. The problem with Above and Beyond is we basically have nothing to change. I can't turn shadows down. I can't adjust anti-aliasing. I can't adjust post processing all i can do is the screen resolution now it's on dynamic that's what it was when i installed it i've got high i can go down to medium now things get a bit blurry feels like i've had a couple of beers and i've got beer goggles on i can still read the text i can still play the game it's playable but it's not optimal as i go down to low now it feels like i've downed a bottle of vodka i'm completely wasted i don't know what's going on i'm chatting up an orangutan because i think it's a pretty redhead uh, no idea what's going on it's uh, not acceptable it's not playable uh, and even medium let's be honest that's not good enough so what I've had to do I've got the Steam version so I've gone into Steam VR into settings under the video tab and I've done I've adjusted the resolution on a per application basis so for Medal of Honor I've set it to 88% it's not as crisp as it is at 100%, but it gives me that performance that I need. Now, everybody's going to have to judge it themselves. We've all got different stuff. So maybe you can help each other out in the comments and say what your machine is, what your headset is, and what settings you used to get it playable. You might have the Valve Index and a 1080, and you have to turn it down to 80%. I don't know, uh, but it's very subjective to each person. I can take this headset off, pass it to someone next to me. And although I feel perfectly fine and think it's playable, they feel incredibly sick. That's just how VR is. So hopefully that helps you guys out. As you're in the options, we'll just go over those things that were concerning me. So we've got object highlights there. That's disabled. I actually thought I'd disabled that last time, but apparently it didn't apply now what i was trying to do was turn off all those blue prompts on the gun for reloading because i find it distracting and it makes it look like a toy gun so with that disabled that has actually turned those off and it's more immersive using the guns so that's good but sadly everything else from now on is going downhill uh, we've got a seated mode which as it is is really a token gesture because there is no crouch button now People will say, Hono, oh, you should be playing at room scale. I should stand up, lean side to side, crouch behind cover. That's how you play these games. It's immersive. It's really, really cool. Those people are absolutely right. However, I have to acknowledge some people are in a wheelchair. They can't just magically stand up because the game wants them to. Uh, that's just life. So other people can be new to VR. If they're standing up and then they push forward on the left thumbstick to walk forward, their brain will go, 
WTF and then face plant them into the floor. They either hurt themselves or break something, and we don't want that. It takes a little time to adjust the VR. It's called getting your VR leg. So having a seated mode done well in the game is incredibly important, and this game just hasn't done it yet. Hopefully that gets patched in. So we do VR comfort. There's flick turn, also known as snap turn. I don't like it. Uh, I've set it to transitional and 45 degrees. So we've got instant or transitional. That's how quickly it pans uh, and how many degrees it will move every time I flick it. Uh, so I'm not going to say I'm happy with those settings. And when you see the gameplay later, you'll see how janky it looks. What I want is smooth turn. So as I move the right thumbstick, I'll use my head. It should pan left. And as I move it to the right, it pans right. And I should be able to change how sensitive that is, how quickly it moves. Other games do it, like Saints and Sinners. This game should do it too. So we've already done the audio video tab. We can back out and I can do a bit more survival. We'll do a level I haven't shown yet. I can quickly explain this mode, probably a little bit better than I did in my last video. I really enjoy it actually. So we'll let it load up. Now I need to survive for five minutes and I get a score at the end of it and there's a multiplier. But there's some modifiers. Now I can help myself out and that will lower the multiplier so I can give myself some syringes, give myself a better starting gun, but I can also balance it out the other way and make it harder. I could add in some panzer troops that have rocket launchers and give them more health and do more damage, but now that's fine. We just want to play the game so you can see it in action. Now again, remember I'm recording so it's not optimal. It is playable. I'm not stupid. I had to buy the game. It wasn't given it given to me. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I'm trying to help you. Uh, so it's more expensive than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be 30 to 40 pound. I was quite surprised to see it at 45 on the Oculus store. Quite shocked to see it at 55 on the Steam store. Now, if I couldn't play it and it wasn't playable, I would have to say, sorry, Steam, I need my money back. And then apologize to all of my subscribers that I can't do content on the game as I promised, but it is playable and I'll keep hold of the game. And if they do patches and updates, I can keep you guys up to date. So there's games like Star Wars Squadrons. That was a bit of a mess on release and they've done so many fixes and changes over time. I really need to get back to that game and, and cover it for people. So before this game came out, just before there were some previews so there's a guy called paradise decay it's actually a very nice guy he's one of my subscribers funny enough uh he did the preview and he said yeah plays great on a 2070 guys uh, and showed his gameplay now the thing is he doesn't actually have a 2070 he's got a 2070 super which is near as damn it a 2080 now i'm not saying he's trying to mislead anyone i misspeak all the time it happens but he's basically at recommended spec so it should play pretty well now i think most people subscribe to his channel because he used to have an old ivy bridge i7 and a 1060 a very modest machine i think people like to know if uh, their machine could do the vr games as well now he's upgraded which is fair enough i'm going to do that at some point as well so the game recommends a 2080 and that seems kind of like ridiculous specs but if we look at the modern cards coming out, a 3060 Ti, Nvidia want £370 pound for it, and that trades blows with a 2080 Super. It's just very difficult to get hold of these graphics cards at the moment. So there was another channel that did a preview. He was quite negative about the game, actually, and the more I watched it, he said he actually had a gaming laptop had a 2070 max q uh, 2080 max q sorry uh, and the thing is the 2080 max q is nowhere near a desktop 2080 not even close and the i7 processor won't be as good as the desktop one so of course his video helps people that have that laptop but it didn't really help me out he kept saying how his laptop could play half-life alex he should be able to play this game but yeah it is it is what it is he was saying it was a blurry mess. He obviously didn't go through the Steam VR settings. He was using the presets that we've already established are kind of useless. So 
So please forgive the jankiness of the snap turn. Shoot me through the vines, cheeky bastard. See things are getting a bit hectic. Have a present. So we're going to die because I'm nearly out of ammo. you guys see it is playable please don't tell me what the frames per second are I really don't care as I say it's recording and playing at the same time normally I wouldn't be recording seconds remain. Can I do it? Ah, oh, should have gone right, not left. So there you go, guys. I think we'll leave it there. Prove the point. Uh, have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever it is you choose to do after watching this. And as always, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.